in this objective, we are going to be finding two things about this box that you see drawn, maybe not the best drawing ever, but you see it on the screen in front of you. It's a box. We're going to first find the volume, which is a measure of the space inside the box, as if we wanted to see how much water we could pour into it or how much air it could hold. And then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to find the surface area, as if it was a package that we wanted to wrap. So those are two completely different things. Volume is a three-dimensional concept, and the volume of a box is relatively easy to find. It is simply the length times the width times the height. So L for length times W for width times H for height. And so we're just going to substitute those values into the formula. So the volume of this box is going to be the length, which we will call the 8 centimeters, the width, which we will call the 14 centimeters, and the height, which is 5 centimeters. And now I just need to multiply those three numbers together. So 8 times 14, I'm just going to come over here on my scratch paper. 14 times 8 is, let's see, 32 and 112. So that's 112 times 5. And so 112 times 5, we've got 10, we've got 6, and we've got uh, 560. So that is 560. And then our units, since I have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, it is cubic centimeters, which I'm going to write centimeters with a little three. That's the volume. The surface area is basically, for a box, just the area of each of the rectangles. So surface area is SA for surface area. And you can see, visible on this box, I've got three different uh, sides, or three different sides you can see. I got this side, the front side, the right side, and the top. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of each of those, and then also with the equal sides. So for instance, the front, the front side right here is 5 by 8. And so we know from finding the area of rectangles that the area of the front is 5 times 8 or 40 centimeters squared. Now, just like there's a front, there's also a back, which you cannot see from my drawing. So the back is also going to be 5 times 8, or 40 centimeters squared. So now we go to the right side. The right side right here, this side is 14 by 5. So the right is 14 by 5. And 14 times 5 is going to be 70 centimeters squared. Now just as there's a right side, there is a left side over here that we cannot see. So I'm going to say left. The left is 14 times 5 as well, so another 70 centimeters squared. And finally, I've got my top. The dimensions of the top are going to be 14 by 8. And so the top is 14 times 8, and 14 times 8 is going to be 112. We saw that earlier, centimeters squared. And so just as there is a top to the box, there is a bottom that I cannot see. And that is going to be 14 times 8, or 112 centimeters squared. And so the surface area is the total of all of those values. The total means to add them up. So when I add them up, I got 4 right here. 4 and 4 is 8, plus 7 is 15, plus 7 more is 22, 23, 24. Carry the 2. And so we get 444 centimeters squared. Important thing to notice, volume is a cubic, surface area is area, it is a square measurement. Good luck with your homework.